Hi guys, it has been a very tiring few days, but um, a lot of sheep have been moved, brought, moved paddocks, moved around, moved farms, brought in, <laughs> been cheered, vaccinated, feet trimmed, uh, fly spray stuff put on them, records updated, tags checked. Uh, everybody health check over um udders checked of those that have got lambs the lambs checked um sorted and then put back out again it's been mad 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 few days i'm absolutely exhausted um hobby did an amazing amazing flying leap in the air to catch a lamb earlier it was a proper rugby tackle or probably American football tackle, whatever you call it, uh, where he leapt up in the air, grabbed out, <laughs> grabbed a lamb as it was jumping really, really quite high, grabbed the lamb, <laughs> landed on his side on the floor, kept the lamb off the ground so it didn't hit the floor hard. I wish I'd got it on video, it's fantastic. Um, but I haven't got much video, for any video done, I think, in the last few days. It's just been mad it's been so crazy i just haven't had time and i wish i could have but i just i i didn't but i have got a video currently i've started making will be up soon um catch up what's been going on the last couple of months um i know i've been quiet and i'm sorry a lot of it is well half of it's to do with taking so long to upload anything and our um internet runs uh our tv um cameras um thermometers all sorts of stuff around the farm um and if i'm taking up the bandwidth uh with uploading a video for 10 hours it's saying 10 hours for a five minute video the only reason this is going to upload is because it's going on 4g and the 4g had been really slow but it's just starting to pick up again now so yeah I can upload things off my phone a lot quicker than off the computer, but the main videos come off the computer, not off my phone. Um, the other reason I've been quiet is I know everybody thinks that lockdown on a farm, 100 acres, the middle of nowhere with a forest behind me. You see the start of the forest there, and then it's 15 miles in that direction, 15 miles in that direction. It's massive, huge, huge forest. And I know everybody thinks it, it must be ideal, it's wonderful, but it, isolation's isolation. I like being in the middle of nowhere, but when you don't know how long it's going to go on for and the worries. Um, my partner, he's, um, he's diabetic. He's male diabetic and, you know, he's, he's very high risk. I'm high risk because of the tumor in my throat um you know my diaphragm doesn't work i've got lung damage i've got asthma as well my reduced airways in my throat everything we're both high risk of um coronavirus so we're isolation for me to be honest more of it was mental than physical with me um i've had a lot to deal with with my breathing and you know when i was first told about uh, the tumour and everything. I know it's benign, but it, it, it is growing, which means it is restricting my airways and it's just going to get worse. I mean, now I can hear when I talk, I'm a little bit croaky and that's now come in commonplace. And and it is it is worrying because it's because it's benign tumour, it's because it's not cancerous. I'm, I'm, it's one of those things I really you have no idea how happy I am. It's not cancerous. But at the same time, because it's benign, they won't do anything about it until it's at the point of blocking my airways. So I'm going to continually have more and more trouble breathing until the point of I'm hospitalised. Um, and that's hit me really hard mentally. Um, started to realise I used to sing a lot when I was young. I sang in choirs. I sang at the Royal Albert Hall. You know, I just, 
even though I was I lived nowhere near London, I was hundreds of miles away from London, but um I sang at the Royal Albert Hall and all the major cathedrals and everything in the Midlands and I love singing and I can't do it anymore. Um <laughs> I'm not hitting notes. I, I can't do the breathing properly, sing a decent song. And it's one of these things when I didn't know why, I just assumed that it was just my asthma because I'm not fit enough and it's my own fault because I'm overweight and all of that. But now I know it's something beyond my control. It's, it is depressing. Um, and it has, it has hit me really hard mentally. Um, I've not really wanted to talk to people. I've put a lot on Instagram, but it's just, you know, things that make me happy, just get them out there kind of thing to try and help me as well as anything else. But yeah, no matter where you're locked down, if you know that you're both high risk, it mentally knocked me for six Dealing with everything with my throat has also mentally knocked me. And um, I've just not really been in the right headspace to make many videos. The, the second they started being a problem to upload, my brain just went, oh, it's just another thing. It's just another thing. And I don't want to deal with it. So, yeah, I'm sorry I've been quiet. That's That's why. Every July I go to a big horse show down south and I see all my friends that only see once a year or once every other year. And that's been cancelled. Um, some of them live overseas and they just come back for this big horse show. And I spend normally spend a week or ten days down south in Sussex around the same time and um, catch up with old friends from there. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to go down there next. I know England's a lot more open than Scotland is at the moment, and we are now letting other people onto the farm. Um, but I don't know. I'm still watching the figures. I'm, I'm only watching the figures every few days because I can't deal with it every day watching it all. Um, yeah. Don't know. My nan in Australia has not been well. Um, I haven't seen her for a few years. My granddad's still not ill. I'm not quite sure how he's <laughs> carrying on in life. But apparently, he's uh, he's being a bit naughty in the nursing home. <laughs> it's, it's probably where I get one part of my silly sense of humour from, and the other parts from my dad's side, which is just completely ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, it's um. You know, I haven't been able to see any of my family. My family haven't been able to come up. Um, I haven't been able to go down to see them. And it's hundreds of miles, you know. It's, it's not just down the road. It's not a case of, oh, once lockdown's over, it's fine. I can go see them. I can't. Because there's just so much going on. It's My mum works in a hospital. It's, it's too much risk. I don't know. The animals are doing well. Um, the shearer didn't finish all the sheep, and uh, you know I've had. It's not. It's not an amazing clip job, is it? No. Didn't get it done quickly. No. It took longer. We still got some to do. But you know what? He wasn't rough with my sheep. He took his time with the sheep. He didn't fight with the sheep that were trying to fight him. I can't ask for more, really. No, they're not show quality clip. Shared. Doesn't bother me. It's functional. They're a lot happier out today. With no uh, no heavy fleeces on them. And the ones that are left to do, there's only eight of them. They're in the barn. They can just wait. He'll be back in about two weeks. Um, it's what it is, you know. The guy did a job I didn't want to do and I couldn't do. That's fine by me. So, yeah, he was good with the sheep. Those that had injuries, two of them had knocked their horns and were bleeding, and he was really good with them. He was really good with Russ, which, of course, had what we thought was brain damage, but 
having done the clip and watched him wobbling after after he'd been sort of sat on his back um we think it's actually a spinal injury rather than a head injury we think the messages aren't getting properly from his head to his back legs and that's why he was wobbly so i've got to speak to the vet about that tomorrow but today i've been in bed i got up at eight o'clock tonight i was in bed for 18 hours 18 20 hours i was in bed for 20 i was asleep for most of the 20 hours <sighs> after a few days of manic hard work i better go yeah, and when I get run down, I get cold sores. That's what happens. So, I'm going to go. Everything's been done. Ashy, your part, your food's ready. Everything's been done. Food's ready. My alarm went off about five minutes ago and I forgot to tell him, so his chips are probably burnt. <laughs> I've already burnt his pie one up, burn the chips as well. I'm having pie and salad. Hopefully I'll get a video out in a couple of days. Thank you for understanding.